Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to add light rays to your text. Now the reason I'm making this tutorial is because I've had a few people ask me how I did that in one of my PvP videos on my gaming channel. So I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm, I don't have any game footage to put in here, so we're just going to toy around with some text. And then I'm going to show you how I do it. So what you do is you go up to insert. Actually, we're going to make a track. You can do that by Control shift q to add a video track or you can and i'm sorry about the bumping sounds and shit like that guys my mic's on a mic stand on the table here and i'm getting a new mic stand tomorrow that's on the floor and yeah it's when i touch my keyboard and stuff like that it, it bumps into the mic it's really really horrible i know so sorry about that <laughs> but yeah so Control shift q you can add all these video tracks uh, or you can just right click and say you want to insert a video track. But we want to add some text. So insert, go to insert, and go down to text media. Okay, so we're going to click that. Then we're going to write something and let's just write Vegas for Gamers. Something like that. Going to make the font a little smaller. Set to say, uh, blah, 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 let's say like that maybe. I don't know. We're gonna see. We're gonna find a font that we're gonna use. We're gonna use Gemini. I like this font. We should make it a little smaller. 36. That's gonna work, I think. Hopefully. <laughs> Alrighty. And uh, that's it. Now we have some text. Now we're gonna add the light rays to it. And it's actually not a light ray because there's a difference. But because um, there is something in here that's called light rays. So you go to video effects and then you scroll down. Let's just see. I think there is actually one that's called light rays. Uh, yep, light rays. That's not the one though. That's not the one. I think that's where people can get confused about making these kind of things. I'm going to go all the way down and find rays. There it is. And what I usually use is this one, uh, luminance. So you're going to pull that down to the actual track like that. See, it just added this really cool light kind of thing. So what we want to do is we're going to go in here, make sure that this one is enabled. That way we can see what happens to our settings while we go through it like this. And um, the first keyframe here, we want it to kind of start off with nothing, but at the same time, we want to get into position with everything. So we're going to, uh, move around with the X position and Y position here and uh, play around with the amount. So as you can see, it's tilted a little bit to the side here. So we're going to take the Y. Actually, I'm going to tilt a little more to the side. That's actually the wrong way. So like 95-ish here. The Y position, I'm going to move it up to like 50 or so since it's centered. Like that. I maybe have it go a little bit down. See here, like, mm, like that. So you can see, like the the ray here, it actually covers the top of the 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 V right over here. So I think that's gonna work just fine. Click on the uh, make sure because I just clicked over here. So make sure I'm working on this keyframe right here. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have it start off with nothing. Okay. So I'm going to take the amount here and turn it down to zero. And I'm going to go, actually what I'm going to do, because I think it's a five second clip. So I'm going to just make it into a 10 second clip. So I'm just going to drag it until it hits like, see it has this little bump thing. Mm. So once you get stuck there, get to 10 seconds. I know 10 seconds might be too much, but it's for this tutorial purpose, I'm going to make it 10 seconds. Um, go back into the effects by clicking down here and animate. Now we, we're ready to go. So maybe I want the first second. I don't want anything to happen there. So I'm going to add a new keyframe there. Then have it go like a second and a half inch. So that would be until one that's 2.15 frames. Like there and add a keyframe. 
Now I want the amount turned up quite a bit, around 40 or so I'd say. Yeah, around 40, seems fine. Like that, come on. There we go, and then we're gonna go all the way to the, what's that, that's like two point, how much? 2.15 minus 10, that's 715, right? Yeah, 715, right there, at a keyframe. That way it's the same distance in between the keyframes. That's why I'm being really OCD about this stuff. <laughs> Adding a keyframe right here. Now we're working with this one. Now we want it to go from one side to the other. So we're just simply gonna uh, change the X position to the other side. So this is a, uh, since it's 95 here, I'm gonna change it to five. Have it go to around five. See that it's actually changing like that. Have it go to like five. It actually seems like a bit much with this one, but whatever. So I'll probably go with 10 on this side. or a little more like that, I think, 13 and something. So it doesn't seem like there's nothing coming out of the V anymore. Um, and then go, how much was there? In, a second and a half in between, so that means I need to go to like nine seconds. Add a keyframe. And um, I feel like I'm doing something wrong here. Let me just check here. So it nothing happens and then boom. Yeah, so on this one, it needs to, we need to turn down the amount again. So we're gonna turn down the amount. And that's pretty much it. So let's have a look at it in real time, okay? I'm gonna play it. There you go. So we have like a second to work with in the beginning, right? So what we can do is, and we have a second at the end as well. So what we can do, we can actually go into the event pan crop. Now, now I've showed you how to do, you know, making the light rays or whatever we call that stuff into the text here. Uh, but I'm just gonna add a little more to it. So we can go into the event pan crop since we have a second at the beginning where there's and and the end as well where there's nothing happening. We can actually go in and play with the event pan crop here, and click on the first keyframe, and then we go we actually, we will zoom out. So I'm just gonna drag one of the corners, have it go like from here. You could also use it for a transition or something instead. We can do that afterwards. So I'm just really quickly gonna make this. So we have like a second to work with. So I'm gonna go one second in, I'm gonna look at the counter down here to get it to like one second. That was still like there, add a keyframe. So now we're working on this keyframe, so I'm gonna right click and say restore, meaning it goes into the normal position again. We're gonna to go to nine seconds. Come on, there we go. Add a keyframe. And then go to the end. I don't care about it. I can't see that right now. Up here, we can't see anything, but I don't care about that right now. So I'm gonna go and take the first one Click on that, right click afterwards. I just wanna make sure, the reason I'm clicking on it is I wanna make sure that I am I have that keyframe selected. So I click on it and then right click and say copy. R click on that one, right click and paste. That way it's the exact same amount. So let's have a look at it now. So let's go out of this. Actually I'll remove this sync thing again. It can actually, fuck things up if you have that enabled. Let's say I was in here and I pull a, a, an effect in where that's enabled, it will actually apply the effect here instead of on the entire track. So yeah, let's have a look at it. So it zooms in, light ray happens, goes from one side to the other, disappears and zooms out again, right? That's kind of cool. We can also go into the event pan crop and just, um, actually we can do something else here. I'm gonna click the first one, shift click the last one, and then right click on any of them, it doesn't really matter, like that, and go to smooth. Now what that means is it's gonna go, uh, it's gonna zoom in a little faster, but at the end it's gonna slow down. Since it's only a second, it's not gonna matter a lot, but if you put in like two seconds at the, the beginning and at the end, 
where there was no effects on it would have you would have seen a significant uh, difference but let's see here it goes in really fast sort of and it's supposed to like slow down it's going to make it a lot sm more smooth it looks kind of cool it looks kind of cool okay one last thing we're going to do we could do kind of shift click all these bam i'm going to delete them meaning there's nothing happening right this one's just normal restore bam there we go Alrighty, so we could also have had added some cross effect, I guess. So you have a blur, and normally when you add these things, they, it only adds a second, which is really awesome. So let's add a, actually let's blur this one. Let's blur this one, so there you go. Nothing happening because it's like a cross effect kind of thing, unless it went into like two seconds. No, it did not. Awesome, then we're gonna have it at the end as well. There we go. Well, let's look at that. Look at how it comes in. Really blur blurry. I can't talk today. And at the end as well. Swoosh. Let's have a look at that at the end again. That looks really cool. But yeah, guys, that's how you do these things. Like I said in the other video I made with the advanced keyframing with effects, only the sky sets the limits. Your whatever you have imagined up in your head that you want to do, toy around. Go into the video effects, toy around with them. Get get to know your editing software. Just mess around with all kinds of things, and and actually doing it with text is a good way to start at it. Or just have a short fraps clip of like a minute or half a minute or something like that adding a ton of stuff to it it's a really 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 good way to to get to know all the effects and what they do in sony vegas keep in mind all this stuff i've learned on my own you guys can do it as well but I, that being said i don't mind making these tutorials don't get don't get it twisted <laughs> but yeah that's how you make the light rays, guys. That's how you make them damn light rays. So I hope this is uh, something that you can use for something in a, you know, an intro or something. Could be kind of cool. An uh, intro to a PvP video or just an intro to, to your gaming channels or whatever. So yeah, that was it for this guy, guys. So take care, have fun, and see you all in the next one. Bye.